Has anybody ever told you to get a real job? Get a job. <laughs> well, if they have, then you can send them this video as the perfect response because today we're going to be talking about dropshipping as a job and different jobs within dropshipping itself. So for those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and here we talk about everything dropshipping related. So since you are new here, let's go over really quick what exactly is dropshipping. So dropshipping in itself is, it's really simple. It's a fulfillment business model. Essentially what you're doing is you're rerouting orders. Instead of you fulfilling the orders yourself, you're gonna have your supplier fulfill them for you. Everything from the packaging to the shipping, the supplier's gonna take care of. So pretty much what happens is this. Somebody's gonna come to your online store and from there, they're gonna make a purchase. Let's say they find a pair of shoes for $100 that they like. So they're gonna purchase those shoes for $100, and then that order is going to go to you. So instead of you fulfilling that order, instead of you going, packing those shoes and sending them off, you're just going to simply take that order and send it over to your supplier. So you're going to log into your supplier's website. You're going to go ahead and place the order there. And instead of having it shipped to yourself, you're going to have it shipped to your customer. Now for that, you paid, let's say $50. So the remaining $50 is your profit. Pretty simple, pretty easy to get into. It's a pretty simple model. It's got a very low barrier to entry. So a lot of people can really get started in this with practically zero experience. Now, is it possible for that to be your full-time job, to have that as your full-time income? Yeah, it is. But it's something that you're eventually going to have to work up to. A lot of times, yes, some people can get lucky right off the bat and they can find a winning product and they can probably even start their own brand around that product. But realistically speaking, we need to be down to earth with this. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. So you're going to have to go through a lot of testing. You're going to have to keep learning. You're going to have to study the market. But don't worry, because if that sounds a little bit overwhelming, which trust me, it's not. But if you are a bit confused on this, just make sure you hit that subscribe button because on this channel, we cover everything that you need to know about dropshipping. Everything from helping you get started to helping you succeed and scale. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that. So just like with any other hustle that can start off as a side hustle, you can eventually make it into your full-time hustle or your full-time job. Start my own thing. So while it is pretty easy to start, in order to actually scale and succeed, you are going to have to do a bit of testing, just like with anything else. Now let's talk about what's going to factor into actually being able to make this into your full-time income. And the first thing you're going to have to have is a solid business foundation. You need to make sure that your gig, that your dropshipping gig, that your dropshipping business, that it's actually working and that you're not still in the testing phases. You need to make sure that you have consistent orders coming in and you're actually making a profit at the end of every month, enough to help you live enough to help you sustain yourself. And in order to get to that, of course, like I said, you need to do a bit of testing. Now talking about testing, another thing that factors into this is your consistency. You need to have consistent effort throughout the entire process, all the way from when you start to when you start scaling. Consistency is key and you need to have consistent effort throughout. Another huge factor in this entire thing is gonna be your marketing skills. Now, I know marketing isn't for everybody. We're not all majors in marketing and marketing can actually be pretty hard for some of us. But if you need help on this, then again, just check out some of the different videos that we have. We help you out with the marketing side of dropshipping, everything from content creation to Facebook ads. Also, if you want a Facebook ads ebook with everything that you need to know on how you can get started for completely free, then just let me know down in the comments below. With that, also let me know what you think about dropshipping as a job in itself. Is it something that you're trying to make full time or is it something that you wanna just keep as a side gig for now? Let me know what you think down below and I'll give you access to the Facebook ads ebook. Now, one of the most important things that you're gonna have to remember and you're gonna have to keep in mind throughout the entire process of building your business is that you need to be adaptable. You need to have very good adaptability. There's changes in the market all the time. Trends are constantly changing and you need to be able to adapt to those changes, whether that be products that are trending or the way that you market your products or the platforms that you market your products on. These things are all consistently changing and you need to learn how to adapt to it because if you don't adapt, you're going to stay behind and you're eventually going to fail. So always make sure that you just stay flexible. Now, what exactly does it take for you to actually have a successful dropshipping business? Well, there's going to be a few things that you're going to need to include in the business itself. And one of those is, of course, going to have to be winning and trending products. 
If you don't have a product that people don't need or don't want, then you're not gonna make any sales. Aside from that, you also need to have reliable suppliers, suppliers that ship on time and don't take 30 or more days to get to your customer. Your selling channel is also something that's gonna be very important. And this is gonna be kind of personal because some selling channels are gonna work better for some people, while others are gonna find success in other channels. Me personally, my favorite selling platform of all time is always hands down gonna be Etsy. But a lot of people find more success on eBay. Others find more success with their own website on Shopify. Some people find success in all the different platforms. Now, along with that comes actually creating your store, importing different products to your store, setting up your finances, marketing your store, fulfilling your orders and post order customer service or just customer service overall. Now, everything that I just talked about, all of those different points that I just made, those are actually all jobs that need to be fulfilled within the dropshipping niche or within the dropshipping you know, job itself. So think about it this way. For one, you need to create your own website. So you're gonna need some sort of website maintenance, right? That website's gonna need to be maintained on top of being created. Why does it need to be maintained? Because you're gonna have to update it eventually. You're gonna have new pictures. You're gonna have new products. You might wanna change the style if you realize that it's not really converting sales. People aren't converting when they land on your pages. So you're gonna need to do a few changes here and there. You're gonna have to add a few different banners every once in a while, whenever you have, let's say, a sale. So you are gonna have to maintain your website and that in itself takes time. So that can be considered a job. That's something that you can do yourself or that's something that you can even outsource. So if you don't know how to create your own store, then you can check out this video right here. In it, I talk about the easiest way that you can create your own Shopify store pretty much by doing nothing with just a few different clicks. It's all done through AI. That actually really takes the guesswork out of creating your own store, but you are still gonna have to maintain it. So you're gonna have to add more products. You're gonna have to, like I said, keep it up to date with current sales and things like that. Not only that, but within your website, there's also SEO that needs to be optimized. So for those of you that don't know, SEO stands for search engine optimization. And pretty much what this does is it helps you rank up higher on Google. So the better your SEO is, the higher you're gonna be on Google. And to put it into very simple terms, how many of you have ever gone to the second or third page of Google? Not very many, right? I mean, some people probably go to the second, but the third or fourth, that's, that, that's like a deserted wasteland. There's nobody on there. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you rank at least in the first two pages. Obviously for best results, you always wanna rank on the first, but try to rank within the first two pages. And in order to do this, you're gonna have to have the right SEO. Now, these two jobs that I mentioned, SEO optimization and creating or maintaining your website, if you don't wanna do that yourself, you can outsource it, like I said. One of the best places you can do this is through Fiverr. On Fiverr, you can find professionals in pretty much anywhere around the entire world, varying in different experience levels as well as different prices that can pretty much do anything that you need. And all of the different jobs that I'm gonna cover right now, those are all also services that you can find on Fiverr. Now, as a quick entrepreneurial tip, don't let this stop you from actually offering your own services. So if you realize that you're actually really good at doing some of these things, if you realize that you're really good at, you know, creating these Shopify stores for people or setting up Etsy accounts for some people that don't know how to do that, if you find out that you're actually good at doing this, then you can offer this as a service yourself. You can offer this as a job yourself. You can make this part as your job too. I can do it myself. Aside from the website though, branding and graphic design is something that a lot of people struggle with as well because a lot of people don't know how to make designs. A lot of people don't know how to make their own logo. Now, of course, this is something that's specialized. Some people are gonna be good at this, some people aren't. So again, you can go on Fiverr, but you can also use a website like, let's say, Kittle. I use Kittle a lot because they have an, an AI text to image system that actually works very well. And on there, you can make different types of designs as well as different types of logos. And overall, that's actually gonna be a bit cheaper than going with somebody on, let's say, Fiverr. Now, this next one is actually pretty important. And if you skip this, or if you don't learn about it, then it could potentially land you in some hot water. And that's legal and financial tasks or your, the legal and financial risks. So when it comes to dropshipping, dropshipping itself is 100% legal, but there are things that you're not supposed to dropship. There's a lot of items, a lot of prohibited items that you shouldn't be selling in the first place. So that's always something that you wanna watch out for. Aside from that, copyright, also a big no-no. Don't sell existing brands, don't sell things that are trademarked. Aside from that, when it comes to money, you also wanna make sure that you're paying the appropriate taxes. And that's really gonna vary depending on where you're dropshipping, what country you're dropshipping, or even what state you're dropshipping. So for this, it's best to check with local laws. All right, now this next job is one that 
is actually on the rise. It's trending and it's one that shows no signs of slowing down. This job is one that a lot of people are getting into and it's it's actually starting to be needed more and more. And that's social media and marketing. Now, when it comes to social media and marketing, you can consider that two different things. You can consider social media its own thing and then marketing its own thing. But really, they can be combined into one, especially when you're first starting out. Now, as far as social media, you need to make sure that you post. You need to make sure that you market on all of the different platforms, because at this point, content is king. Social media is what rules everything. And that's how you're going to get in front of the eyes of new customers. We expect a minimum of five posts. If you can make a viral video on TikTok or a viral reel on Instagram, then you have the potential of making a lot of money. But some people aren't very good at making content. So again, this is another one of those things that you can outsource. Some people are really good at making content. Again, that's something that you can offer as well. But don't skip on your social media. Don't skip on your marketing because this is how you're actually going to bring in traffic to your store. Now, you can't talk about dropshipping jobs and leave out customer service. Content is king, customer service is queen. So when it comes to customer service, you need to make sure that you provide the best customer service throughout the entire process, whether that be if somebody's just asking about a product or asking about their order. You need to make sure that you reply back to your customers at the most within one day. And I know this can get very, very hard, especially if you have a lot of things going on, if you have a lot of orders coming in, if you have to fulfill a lot of things, it, it starts to get very time consuming. But you can outsource this. And this is actually something that a lot of people do. You can get a virtual assistant. Virtual assistants, you can find them again on Fiverr, or you can just talk to one of your friends or family and see if they'll help you out with this. Maybe you can pay them a few bucks every once in a while in order to just help you answer questions. Now, I understand that when it comes to having people answer your emails, it, it can get a bit iffy. You don't want certain people, especially people that you don't know, looking at certain parts of your website that you don't want them to look at. Maybe your bank account, how much money you're making, things of that nature. I don't trust people. So there's actually a solution for this. So if you're using AutoDS, if you're part of the AutoDS family, which if you're not, you can start right now for just $1 for two weeks and you can take advantage of overall dropshipping automation. AutoDS is gonna streamline your entire dropshipping process. But right now let's talk about virtual assistants. So on AutoDS, you can actually give users specific permissions and you can get very specific with this. So if you have a virtual assistant that you want them to only reply back to emails about orders, of course, you're gonna have to give them access to your orders page. And you can do that in the AutoDS system. So that way they can only see your orders page and nothing else. Now, if they need a bit more access, you can control that as well. So that's one way that you can get around this. That's something that's actually very helpful because again, some people don't like their virtual assistants or certain people seeing certain parts of information of their business. And those are some of the different types of dropshipping jobs that there are, both as dropshipping as a whole and as jobs in the dropshipping umbrella. I guess you can say if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, if you found it informational, please make sure you smash that like button. Also, of course, if you made it this far, you most likely did enjoy the video. So smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification. So that way you're notified the moment that we upload any video. Remember, if you want access to the Facebook ads guide ebook, then just let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you think of dropshipping as a job. Let me know if you want to make this your full time income or if this is something that you just want to keep as your side gig. Huge thank you to everyone for watching once again. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you guys next time.